demo video for this germanium fuzz and boost pedal that I've been making. Um, I wanted to make this not only to kind of show this off and see if anybody else is interested in getting one, but um, as a sort of user's manual for those who already have one. All right, so there's a lot of knobs on here, a little bit more than uh, your regular fuzz and uh, boost, and I want to just go over some of the possibilities for sounds. I've kind of got this, uh, I'm going to reset it now to... This should be sort of a basic tone, same as the clean on the boost side here. So we got sort of a starting point. All right, um, just so you know, there's the clean sound. Okay, that's coming through a vintage um, Les Paul copy. All right, not a an old meaning vintage, but a Trevor Wilkinson vintage. Cool guitar, just very simple, solid. Um, obviously humbucker pickups, and then going through the uh, seriotone copy of the Marshall 18 watt. So just a really good straight up basic tube amp. Right, just distorting a tiny bit when you when you hit it, all right? Which is a good spot to start with, you know, putting your, your boosts and fuzzes and whatnot in front. Okay, so let's start off. Okay, that's about the same as the um, basic input tone that I got there, all right? It'll depend guitar to guitar. You can kind of, you know, you don't have to get it exact, but it's a good good way of kind of learning how these knobs are working for you. This one's labeled EQ. To the right, it's more treble boost. Okay, and to and around the middle, it's about the same, so a flat boost. And then all the way on the left, it's sort of a nice, thick, juicy, um, low-end boost, sort of like rolling the tone off on your guitar. But the cool thing is you got a switchable then. All right, so... Um, Let's go over to the treble side, and I'm going to crank up the gain now. Now, when you crank up the gain on a range master type circuit, which is what this is based on, you not only get more level, but you wind up getting overdrive because you're hitting your amp harder, first of all. And the germanium uh, transistors tend to create sort of a compressed sound and uh, clip a little bit on their own. So there's the boosted sound. This is very good for sort of that um, British heavy metal kind of tone, you know. All right, so you're going to get very uh, rich kind of germanium Brian May kind of sounds out of there. All right, you're getting a little overdrive from it. That's just clean, and then, all right, very much also that sort of Blues Breakers uh, lead sound. All right, now uh, roll this over to the other side. You're going to get a thicker um, tone, which is, let's go to the, uh, that was just all on the neck pickup there. Let's go to the back to the bridge pickup. All right, so you can get a, a cool tone rolled off uh, kind of tone on your bridge pickup by going over to the bassier boost side, all right? Let's bring this back to more or less neutral. Interestingly, you can um, actually get a, a gain reduction out of this, okay? Which is going to be interesting in, interesting in combination with the tone bender side. So the fuzz side here is based on the tone bender Mark II circuit, all right, with the addition of a bias pot and the uh, Russian germanium transistors here, which are nice and consistent, um, require some circuit changes. Anyway, all that technical stuff um, to get them working in this circuit. So let's just go straight up fuzz now, bridge pickup. Um, here's your basic. <laughs> So a tone bender is very fuzzy, 
from the outset, all right? Now you can, of course, roll down your guitar's volume, all right? And that's gonna give you just a more moderate fuzz sound. And that's gonna uh, cool out your fuzz tone a little bit, but you can also make it more switchable by simply, you can adjust your, of course, your EQ to going into it. Um, roll back the gain here, all right? I'm gonna put my, um, bridge pickup volume up all the way up again. All right, nice thick fuzz tone, but if you want to cool it off a little bit. Okay, it really is a great sound with that um, treble boost put in there too to kind of just give that input of that tone bender a little bit of a lift a little bit um sort of a tilt i like to think of it as you know you're you're not really boosting the treble as much as you're sort of um sort of enhancing that whole range because it doesn't it doesn't get a, a harsh trebly sound it was all that those upper frequencies start to compress as well so it just it gives everything a lift you know anyway um let's uh with this still on here let's just explore some of the range of the bias knob here <laughs> The bias set more or less in the middle is your basic sound. Now, if you start moving it to the left, you're actually going to get the pedal's going to get louder, um, and this is going to just be reducing that bias. Notice there, it's quite a bit louder. So just you can back that off to even it up. fuzz sound. Now um, take it over in the other direction here and it's going to wind up getting you a little bit more of a gated <clears throat> kind of fuzz sound. Let's start to lose a little more volume over there. Let's let's hit this kind of hard. I'm going to crank that boost, crank the fuzz here. Dinky and cool over there. All right, so back in the middle of our um, basic tone bender range, you crank up that fuzz. All right, it's pretty pretty heavy. It's going to get a lot of compression on the low notes. Again, you want to want to cool that off a little bit. Give yourself a little treble boost and cool off the tone here and then head for Sabbath. Level. All right, so you can get some very cool overdriven kind of sounds. Let's try that without um, the boost kind of cooling it down. It's a really cool sort of attack and then compression release. To right, so the fuzz on its own 
was pretty wild. <laughs> Use it, give it lots of low end, crank that bias way back down, give your fuzz a big heavy hit, and neck pick up. Velcro, sticky fuzz kind of sound. All right, so you've got a lot, a lot of possibilities here. Um, let's go back here, a lot of fuzz. Let's go away trebly and boost it up again too. <laughs> some very cool classic fuzz sounds out of that. All right, hope that helps you um, get an understanding about the interaction of the knobs a little bit. Thanks for watching and see you soon for some more guitar licks and fun stuff.